Hi, welcome to Unit 24, which is being managed by others. This is for the Level 1 Employability students. Hope you can hear me. Um, I decided to film outside because the lighting is much better. Um, but we are battling with the elements. It is a bit windy, so just bear with me. So, 1.1 uh, on this page, um, you will have some questions. And it, the first question, it says, please discuss in your groups who is a manager, supervisor and team leader and state why. So the purpose of this question really is just to get you thinking and discussing about the different roles of team leaders, managers and supervisors. Now, the, in the bottom bit, the box is where you're, you're meant to fill in your answers. And it says, name three things that Janet... John and Jamal expect of their employees. So if you were Janet as a manager, what might you expect? So the sorts of things that you might expect if you were a senior manager in an organisation is that your staff would achieve targets. Um, you might expect that your employees are loyal to the organisation. You may expect them to report to their line managers if they have any issues. Now, if you was Jamal and you was a supervisor, you might expect your employees to arrive on time, be productive, get the job done. You might expect them to work according to health and safety rules. So think about um, the different types of managers that there are. So you've got a senior manager who's probably a bit more hands-off, and then you have a supervisor who's a bit more hands-on. And then you have a team leader who's actually more or less part of the team so he's even more hands-on than the supervisor so what might a team leader John expect so the team leader might expect employees to work together to get the tasks done he may expect um, there to be minimal conflict he wouldn't expect that the employees are in conflict with each other so he might expect them to work harmoniously um, and he won't expect that there would be that much conflict in the organization um, he will expect also that um, they would report any difficulties, any issues such as lateness, sickness, um, and to let him know as soon as possible, if, say if there's any equipment failure or any accidents that need to be reported or any health and safety issues, anything immediate that can be sorted out at a team level, he would expect to be for you to let him know as an employee. So that's question 1.1. Um, I hope that's really clear. Um, I'm now going to go on to question 1.2. Now, 1.2, uh, it says demonstrate a positive interaction with the manager. Now, at this point, you were asked to watch a video um, called Good Boss, Bad Boss, which is really just to demonstrate um, the sorts of interactions, positive and negative, that you can have with managers. Now, um, with this question, you have to relay your answer back to the interaction you had with your team leader in the class. So depending on what role you had, so if you cast your mind back to when we did Unit 22, working in a team, you have to relay your answer back to the interaction you had with the manager. So what were the circumstances of the interaction? So you could say that the, the manager listened to me when I was trying to get something done. He was very supportive because I was maybe you were nervous when you were doing, doing your presentation and he was very supportive. Maybe your manager gave you praise and encouragement. Maybe they trusted you to get on with tasks. So it is linked to the video in the sense that if you look at the way that the good boss um, treated his staff, um, and that can give you an idea as to how you can answer that question. So it must relate to either Unit 22, which is your working as part of a team, or it will relate to Unit 19, following instructions, where you also worked as part of a team. So, um, so really, that, that needs to relate. No, it doesn't relate to a previous um, work experience that you had in a previous job. It has to be something that you did in the classroom. So if you were the team leader in the first um, role play that we did, then you, you, can, you can base it on the second one, okay? Um, so what were the circumstances of the interaction? You could say we were part of a group task and 
my team leader was very supportive. My team leader trusted me to get on with tasks, delegated tasks to me. Uh, my team leader actually listened to me when I was speaking is, instead of pretending to listen. Um, you could say my, my team leader gave me plenty of praise and encouragement um, when I needed it. Yeah. So that's what they were the circumstances of the interaction. So why was it positive? So you could say in, in terms of why it was positive, you could say it made me feel more confident. It was, you could say it made me feel good to be part of a supportive team. Um, so really think about how that interaction made you feel. Um, and, and that's how you'll be able to answer that question. OK, so generally speaking, you need to think back to how you felt when a manager or a team leader was really positive towards you. Yeah. How did it make you feel? And generally speaking, you will say, oh, it made me feel more confident or, you know, think of so some other way that it made you feel. Yeah, it made me feel good about myself. It made me feel confident, it made me feel good to be part of a supportive environment. Yeah. So those kinds of things. Why was it positive? And then the last one, what did you learn from it? You could say, well, I learned that if my boss gives me the freedom um, to, do, to do a task, I can do it well. Or you could say, I learned that if I get encouragement and praise from my boss, I feel more confident and I get the job done quicker. Yeah, so whatever it is, um, you could say what you learned from that. Okay, so that's very, very straightforward. Now I'm going to go on to 1.3. So this one, um, you have to be quite um, careful with this one because the first three questions it says give three reasons why it's important for staff to have a good relationship with their manager so really this is from the point of view of the staff member okay so the first so you could say maybe so that if so you put yourself in the position of a staff member so you could say maybe so that they can easily discuss any issues that might arise if you, if you have a good relationship with your manager, it's actually easier for you to discuss any issues or any problems that um, might arise. Rather, if you have a problem and you don't get on with your manager, you're not going to want to talk to them about it. So really, it's, it's, it's about thinking about it from your own point of view as an employee. So you could, you could say, so they can easily discuss any issues that might arise. They might feel more motivated to come to work if they get on with their manager. They might feel more happy in the job if they get on with their manager. Um, there may be more opportunities for regression if they get on with their manager. Um, and they might know that they're being supported, yeah? So, and they'll feel happier in their job. So there's lots of different um, examples that you could use. So, and again, really think back to when you um, was in a job and you felt supported or you, you had a, a good manager, um, why was it important for you? What difference did it make? Yeah. So really try to draw on your personal experience. Um, so the last three questions, now that one really is from the point of view of the managers. Okay. So whether you're a manager, a supervisor or a team leader, it, you're still a manager. And if you can look from that point of view as a manager, why is it important for you as a manager to have a good relationship with your staff? So I've got some examples here. So, so they can rely on staff to get the job done, um, especially during difficult times, especially like the times that we're going through now. Uh, you could say during hard and difficult times, I know I can rely on my staff, yeah, if I've got a good relationship with them. Staff will go the extra mile if you've got a good relationship with them. So uh, you can delegate work if necessary. And it's a lot easier for, for you to delegate the work if you have to be somewhere else, if you know that you have a good relationship with your staff. Um, staff, you know that staff will be loyal to the organisation if you have a good relationship. You also know that staff will be honest. I think back to when we did the mindset, you, staff will be honest with you if you have a good relationship. Um, they will be flexible when needed to be, when called upon in hard times, they can be flexible. So think back to when you did the mindset unit, um, you could use some of those like flexible, you know, staff will be more flexible when needed, you know, a staff will be more committed when needed, um, they will be more accountable when needed, they'll be honest with you, yeah? So really have a think about that one. The first three is from the employee's point of view, the second three, three is from the manager's point of view, okay?